What's up guys? I wanted to make a video primarily for my blue belts out there. I know you guys are struggling. I think you guys have the hardest rank in jujitsu and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. And here's why. Because for beginners to get from white to blue typically isn't really that long in the grand scheme of things. You know, if, it, if on average it takes 10 years to get a black belt, well, it only takes one year or maybe two years to get from white to blue. So it's not a very long transition in terms of your overall jujitsu journey. But getting from blue to purple typically takes a lot longer, it takes several years, and it's much more difficult than from getting from white to blue. And the reason for that is when I'm going from white to blue and I'm a beginner and I'm in, in class all the time, basically every class I'm learning something new. Every single class when I'm a white belt, I should be learning something completely new because there's so many skill sets that I'm completely uh, unaware of and being exposed to for the first time. When you're a blue belt, you already should know the basics from every position. You should know basic pin escapes, you should know basic submissions, you should know basic positional transitions, basic guard passes, basic sweeps, basic takedowns, all that stuff, right? So expanding your knowledge past that point is a little bit more difficult. Now it takes a little bit more effort, you know? Hopefully your school has a more advanced curriculum for you guys that will help you guys achieve that purple belt rank. If they don't, and that's fine, some schools don't, if they don't, then you need to take your learning into your hands a little bit more, right? You need to be make, making sure that you're pursuing certain skill sets. And so, you know, unlike the white belt transitioning to blue belt, the blue belt transitioning to purple needs to take ownership of their training a lot more, right? And if you haven't done that before, it can be frustrating because what may happen is you'll come across many different plateaus along the road from blue to purple. And I know that's frustrating, guys, but just remember, you know, the plateaus are temporary, okay? You just have to continue training, and your perception of the plateau may also be skewed because everyone else in the training room is also getting better. So, you know, it's, it may not be that you're not getting better, it just may be everyone else is getting better too. So the outcomes of your roles are similar every time. Um, you know, so the purple belt is also the first belt of expertise. So the overall skill sets that you need to get a purple are much more deep than the skill sets you need to get a blue belt, right? Just by definition, of course, that's true because you're achieving a more advanced rank. But for example, my definition of a purple belt, you know, a purple belt should have one or two positions where they're extremely competent to the, to the degree that they can submit upper ranks. They can submit brown and black belts from those positions if they're able to funnel them to them. They should have no holes defensively, zero holes defensively. They should have um, not only those two offensive sequences, they should be competent everywhere else, right? So they shouldn't only be a leg locker, for instance, right? Or they shouldn't only be a mount guy, right? They should have attacks from other positions and be a little bit more varied, right? So it, th that's, that's quite a bit more skill. You know, I would also expect the purple belt to have enough expertise and training to where with guidance, they could run a beginner's class. You know, it takes a lot more to be a purple belt, but here's the thing guys. Okay. For you blue belts out there that are struggling. Remember, once you get to purple belt, you will be a black belt. It's just a matter of time at that point. And here's why. If you were able to achieve the expertise that a purple belt requires, which is significant, and you did it, you know, you did it over a few years, it doesn't matter how long it took you, but if you were able to achieve that, you now know exactly what you need to do to improve your jujitsu and continuously make improvements, right? To get to purple belt, you need that. You need the ability to yourself guide your training and know how to continue to improve. So if you already have that as a baseline and you already trained those several years that it took to be a purple belt, the only thing you need to do to get to black belt is continue doing everything you've already been doing and everything you already know how to do, right? So this is why a lot of people drop out of blue because it's a very difficult transition to purple belt. Blue belt is the hardest belt to get promoted from. But once you get that purple belt, your path to the black belt is set. Yeah, it's gonna take you several more years past the point where you get your purple, but you already know everything that you need to do. You know, just double down on everything that works training wise. So don't give up guys, make sure you stick with it. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you share it. If you have a blue belt friend out there that's struggling, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, click the notification bell, that way you guys get notified every time we have a new video. 
Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. How was that? <laughs>